Hi, I'd like to point out a, an option that I brought back into the Z39.50 client um, and provide just a small word of warning um, for those who want to use it. Um, inside the Z39.50 client, um, for users who have used, been using it for a very long time, um, they know that they used to be able to query sometimes tens of thousands of records um, with the Z39.50 um, resource. Uh, that was problematic. Um, there were a number of times where uh, most C39, well, most C39.50 resources aren't meant to um, uh, respond to that many queries. And the way that MarkEdit worked is it would essentially um, rotate uh, the connection settings. Uh, that way, as the service disconnected the application, um, it would reinitiate a connection and continue the process of downloading data from um, the particular resource. Uh, I try to make sure that MarkEdit is mostly a good citizen, and that seemed like not a very friendly thing to be doing. Um, and even though nobody really asked, there was there's been a couple of times where it had been problematic for 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 uh, content providers. And so um, somewhere in the last uh, couple of months, somewhere over the summer, um, I added an option um, that essentially allowed the before the query happened, um, the user would uh, pass the number of results they wanted to the server, and the server would send back to me um, a response that told me how many res resources it was willing to give you. Um, and then that was as many as you could have. Um, and if you tried to continue to push it past that limit, um, when the connection terminated, you would get an error. Uh, you'd certainly get the records that you harvested, um, but you wouldn't get any more. Uh, there's been a few people who actually relied on this with their local data sets, um, their local catalogs. Uh, I'm going to assume that they are aware of any risks in terms of doing this kind of um, heavy processing. Uh, and so uh, to allow them to continue with that process, uh, there's a new option that says override local limits. Um, that will allow MarkEdit to go back to the process of essentially uh, rotating uh, the connection streams. Uh, it takes it past, takes it away from um, asking the server for a particular request, um, and it pushes the application to continue uh, trying to um, capture data from the server. Uh, until it gets to a point where either the server no longer responds, uh, the server uh, throws an error that can't be recovered from uh, through the creation of a new connection string, um, or you retrieve back the number of records that you've requested. Um, it is an option that um, I am uh, letting folks know that if they want to use it, um, they, they should um, be aware of uh, the potential impacts it'll have on the service that they're going to be querying um, and uh, if they use it um, on a service that's not a local service, uh, be aware that it could result in um, the individual resource deciding to uh, block your IP. Um, I've heard a number of different reasons why uh, folks weren't able to connect or, or download records um, through Z39.50 over a short period of time um, due to pulling large sets of data and that was part of what the um, the, the respecting the limits list, the local limits um, options were designed to avoid um, but uh, this having the ability to move beyond those is apparently um, uh, important in a number of local contexts so the option is there in case folks want to use it but um, i would say use it sparingly